Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you some key features in a play script. The first question that you should ask yourself should be, who's reading a play script? Who are you writing the play script for? And of course, why are you writing it? So are you writing a play script for your friends, for yourself, for your parents, just for a teacher? No, a play script should be written for an actor or an actress. The function of a play script should tell actors what to do, what to say, what to feel, and where to go. And therefore, in a play script, you should find actions, speeches, dialogues, emotions, and also state directions. Now you know who you're writing the play script for, then you should start thinking about the structure of writing a play script. So before you start writing any dialogues, you should actually pay attention to these stuff. You should begin with the title of your play. So give your play a nice title, the name of it. After the title, you need to put a character list and tell like the cast. Tell the readers, tell uh, who are involved in this play. And then you should have the scene number and then also the scene name. Afterwards, you should have the setting, like what's on stage and also the stage direction. How should the actor and actresses walk into the stage? For example, you can say on the stage, there are some chairs and desks. It should be a classroom setting. Then you give the stage direction for the uh, for the actors and or actresses. Enter Peter and Mary from stage left or right. Okay, so assume that you've put down all the title, character list, scene numbers, scene names, and then the stage direction, the setting. Then you can actually start writing the dialogue. Remember, um, you will you should see a table like this in your assessment or in your play script uh, writing pack, a table like this. You should put all the characters' name on one side, okay? And then all the dialogue on the other side of the table, okay? Do not write the characters' name with the dialogue all together on one side. Don't do that, okay? You should put the characters here at one margin and then the dialogue on the other side. So in the play script, apart from telling actor and actresses what to say, it is also very important to, to tell the actor and actresses what to do. So we need actions. There are two ways of uh, writing actions. So number one, we are going to use gerund, verb ing in brackets. And remember, you should always write the actions before the speech. Okay, do not put this at the very end. Unless it is an extra action or a specific action you want to you want to say and ask the actor or actresses to do when the person finished the speech, okay? But if not generally, we'll put all the actions in the front, okay? So remember ing. I don't want to see any other words representing actions in your play script in assessment or in any of the writing, okay? Remember it. Use gerund ing in front of the speech. And the second thing, if you think that the actions are really complicated, that you cannot use just some, one simple gerund to explain it, please start a new line. And then use complete sentence, present tense to write all the actions, okay? Then if you use, do it like this, you can give actions to more than one, car uh, one actor or one actress, okay? Like for example here, Peter slaps Mary's face and Mary leaves stage left crying, light out, curtain falls. So everything's all together. But make sure, remember, in a separate line. And please do not write character name before this action because it's a complete sentence. So simply start a new line, put the lines in here, okay? So the second important thing that you need to pay attention to would be the emotions. You need to show uh, the actors or actresses how to feel and how they should behave emotionally. Okay. So there are two ways of writing emotions. Number and they should all be in brackets. 
and they should be put before the speech, always in front of the speech. There are two ways of doing it. Number one, you can use past participle PP, especially verb with ED. Okay, those adjectives, ED adjectives. For example, scared, frightened, worried, puzzled, in brackets before the speech. The second way of doing it would be adverbs, ly, ly. Do not just put an adjective inside. Okay, it has to be adverbs. For example, sadly, madly, happily. They're all put before the dialogue. All right. And、then last but not least, remember, remember, remember. You need you. I think there.、Uh, you should have no problem in entering a character, but please always remember at the end you need to exit the characters as well. Remove all the characters from the stage. They won't appear and disappear suddenly from the stage. You need to give the actors and actresses instruction where to enter the stage and when to leave the stage. Okay, please do not forget this. So these should be the features that you need to remember. But some of you always ask me this question: Do I need to complete the story? Actually, you don't really need to complete the whole story. You can actually leave it with a cliffhanger. Okay, but definitely you need to reach the climax, meaning the the most important conflict or the biggest problem in the story. So. That will make your story a little bit more interesting, a little very flat and boring. And then remember to exit all the characters at the end. Remember that. So wish you good luck. Happy writing, play script. Bye.